Hey, so this is Miss Becky, and I'm here back in the library uh, children's programming room, and I have not been doing programs for a couple weeks, and probably the best time I had when I wasn't doing programming was I went Saturday before last to a friend's house, and they have um, a boat, and I was able to swim in a lake. And I love swimming. Water, being in water makes me feel really good. And I was like that when I was a little girl too. And I also like to play in snow. And I like nice steamy showers. So I like water in all of its forms. And that's what we're talking about today. It's called the water cycle. And if you go to our website, woodfordcountylibrary.com, you can see a link that says children's and under that is the watch and learn library now to access it you'll need your library card and you type in your card and um, your card number and then you'll be able to watch the videos and one of them is called the water cycle and it shows you how water goes through the cycle of being liquid and then rising up and becoming water vapor cooling off when it's up high in the sky, falling back down as rain or snow or hail, and then melting again when it's above freezing and going through the same process over and over again. And so that's what happens. And if you want to know more about it, um, I have a couple books to recommend. This one's called A Wild Ride on the Water Cycle and a Jake and Alice Adventure. This book's by Anthony Yanez. And this book is actually in the nonfiction section of the library. So that on the spine label says J551.48 um, Janice. And why it says that is this book is full of facts about the water cycle. And that number means earth science. So you can open up any page and it's going to tell you little facts about the water cycle. It says like after this, after extracting the nutrients from water, the leaves transpire excess water back into the atmosphere. Think of it as plants sweating. And so when you walk out in the grass in the morning or in the evening, you might feel, oh, it's sort of wet out here, even if it hasn't rained. Well, that's the dew drops and that, that dew comes from plants transpiring, grass letting off the excess water. And so, that's another way water is continuing the cycle because plants' roots absorb the water, but the excess water comes out through the leaves. That book is good, but it's a little long. So we're going to read a different book today called Ice Boy. And this book is by David Ezra Stein. David Ezra Stein is a very clever author, and he also wrote the great book Interrupting Chicken which you have never read, you should read it because it's hilarious. And this book is published by Candlewick Press, Ice Boy. Ice Boy had a normal life. Morning, everybody. Pop. Morning, Dad. Up and at him. He spent his time goofing around with his brothers and sisters. Help! I'm stuck! Hey, don't lick your sister! Dodging tough ice cubes from the back of the freezer. Hey, your mama was an icicle. Yikes! And once in a while, someone was taking. Oh, where's Cleo? He's gone to a better place. Usually, he was. they'd be taken for someone's drink. Some say you go to a place called Root Beer. Some say cream soda. Sniff, I miss Cleo. To be chosen was the best thing that could happen to an ice cube. Your great aunt was in a cold compress. Be proud. At least that's what Ice Boy's parents said. But Ice Boy didn't want to be in a cold compress. He wanted more. So even though Ice Boy's parents said, never go outside, 
ice boy went outside. And even though his doctor said, never go in the sun, never ever go in the sun, ice boy went in the sun. Feels good. In fact, he went to the beach. Ice Boy went up to the edge of the water and rolled right in. Best day ever! But his edges were beginning to blur. He was becoming... Water Boy! Hey! It tastes salty. Water Boy washed in with the tide. Hello there! The seashore was full of life. Ah, that tickles. Off a big swell, he soaked someone's towel. That feels fuzzy. He basked in the sun until he began to steam. He was becoming... Vapor Boy. Look what I did! Vapor Boy was as light as air. He wafted so high, pop! Am I dense or did I just become a liquid again? He became a little drop. He tap danced on top of a thunderstorm, tra-la-la, -la. hey, I'm cold, until he froze and fell inside. Puff! A big storm was no place for a little piece of ice. Yikes, this is so creepy. Whoa, crash, what was that? I'm melting, oh, I'm rising, I'm freezing. I wanna go home, boom. He was becoming ice boy again, whizzing through the sky in summer hail. Hey, I can see my house from here. Maybe I'll surprise mom and dad. I hope they still remember me. Then oof, he hit the roof and plink, he landed in a drink. Bloop. And his parents were there. Clatter, clatter. Ta-da! Ice Boy, is that you, they ask? Yes, said Ice Boy, it is me. They floated together for a while. This is fizzy. Oh, Ice Boy, you're a sight for sore ice. I'm sorry I ran away, said Ice Boy. I didn't want to be chosen. Just then, the drink was lifted high in the air. Luckily, the person tasted Ice Boy first. Black, he said. This ice tastes terrible. We're free! They landed in the grass. What will become of us, said his parents. Where will we go now? What will we do? Let's find out, said Ice Boy. And look, they turned on the sprinkler and... This tickles! It feels good! Best day ever! And you know what? I have tasted hail before and it does taste terrible. You would think that it would just taste like normal ice, but it tastes... Um, a little like dirt, so I do not recommend it. So we're gonna do an experiment here in a minute. I'm gonna go back to the kitchen here at the library and I'm gonna show you different aspects of the water cycle and something that you can do at home so you can see it yourself. So I hope that you enjoyed the book Ice Boy. You can check it out from the library if you want. You can come in and check things out or you can also request things and I'll bring them out to your car curbside. So come along with me in just a moment and we'll see how the water cycle looks in action. Thanks. Okay, so this is a sink. Standard type kitchen sink. And all I have to do is just flip my wrist a little bit and there's water flowing down from the sink. And this is the way we see and encounter water most often, is in its liquid form. 
but also there are other ways that water can be. One of the other ways that we are very fortunate to be able to encounter water is in the form of ice. Just think about it. For many, many years, people did not have ice on demand. In fact, if you've seen Frozen, the beginning of it starts with people harvesting ice off the pond to keep for future use because you don't have ice year-round without refrigeration. And in some tropical places, they would never have ice. And then this is the other form that water can take. You can see that in the pan, I put some water about, about 12 minutes ago and turned up the oven. I turned it down on just a little bit so this didn't boil over. But why the water is making those little bubbles at the bottom is that it's boiling. So that's water. And when I filled up this pan, it was almost full. And you can see there's less of it. So where is the rest of the water going? Well, that's what that is. That stuff that looks like clouds are coming off the pan is called steam. And steam I put something dark behind it so you can see it better. Steam is water in its gaseous form or airtight form. And so, right here, we have three kinds of water within a few feet of each other. Liquid water, water as ice or frozen water, and water as steam or gaseous water. And water can go through these three states over and over. In fact, water, although it can be polluted, doesn't cease to exist. It just changes from form to form. And one of the ways that you can do an experiment at home to check on this is to take some ice and get a plastic bag and then take the ice put it in the bag put a few more cubes that's a Keurig back there that's for making water into tea or coffee And then, okay, once you have the ice cubes in the plastic bag, you seal up the bag, and that's important for the bag be sealed because we want to create a closed system. So then you take your bag of ice and you go to a window. And, like this has a, where you can label it with a date. That might be a good idea to do. This bag does. And then, to get it to stick, you tape your bag. To the window. So like that. So you tape the bag with the ice to the window and then you leave it for 24 hours. Make sure your seal is still good and you will be able to watch the water system. As you can see, um, it's pretty warm out today. It's going to be in the 80s. The ice is already starting to change into liquid form. But if you watch your bag over the 24-hour cycle, I think you'll be able to see all three stages of water. Try it at home.